On to Hong Kong now, where the unrest continues. Seven media associates organize a silent march against alleged police brutality. Several hundred reporters march from a park in Admiralty near the central government offices to the police headquarters. Protesters held up placards which read, Stop police violence, defend press freedom, and protect our fourth estate. Some of the officers might feel that media is really getting into the way and they feel like they have, they come on, they come first, which um, I think is a mentality that's quite dangerous. Um, we are not asking police to treat us uh, better than normal people, but with respect. And I, I think the media has done it, got quite a good job in that sense in treating uh, all parties involved with respect. So I hope that will be, become mutual. These protests now coming amid allegations that police forces have resorted to inappropriate methods to handle the reporters. Remember, journalists across Hong Kong have come out to uh, carry out their independent reportage and uh, conduct interviews post the protests erupted against uh, the uh, after the protests erupted uh, over the proposed extradition bill. The march organizers say that if the safety of the journalists was threatened, it would impact their reportage on the power exercised by the police. Demonstrators marched in sweltering heat of about 32 degrees Celsius in the town of Shatin. A scuffle broke out between protesters and the police during that march. Protesters also appealed to the American President Donald Trump using banners which read, and I'm quoting, please liberate Hong Kong and defend our constitution. Hong Kong has been facing massive protests against a controversial extradition bill that could allow criminals to be sent to mainland China. Although the bill remains suspended for the time being, protesters demand full withdrawal.